Hey everybody, you already know what it is, X and Mexican, and today we're back with another one. So for this one, it's going to be another build video, but this time, as you can see who's already on the screen, it's going to be Little Fox. So let's just get right into it. So first things first, we're going to go into the P-Buffs, and as you can tell, they're still the same, I don't really change them up, but only if I do like two builds or something. But we're going to start off with Professor's 3 point shot success rate, 6% for both, Little Fox's normal movement speed, Chloe's distance, and last but not least, Mika's normal moving speed. And from there, we're going to head over to Little Fox himself. And as you can see, he has a pet. We're going to get to it. I'm pretty sure it's a gold pet, which it is. And the uh, buff is basically normal moving speed. By 13.2, it's not bad. So I either got to get a steal with Little Fox, which is really good because he's a point guard, or make my guard have a shot failure, failure which is really good as well. Because it is Little Fox. So other than that, we're going to head on over here to his actual stats. Break it down a little bit. So for the freestyles, I get Quick Point 2 level 2. Well, level 1. Quick Point 1 level 1. Air Point level 1. Soft Touch level 1. Knee Shot level 1. 360 Layup level 1. So I have a bunch of uh, layup, basically, freestyles just because it's fake pass layup. Same with Fred, I have a bunch on him as well, just because of the fake pass layup. That's a move that's slept on, really. So everything is basically maxed out for his skills, except quick defense, I don't really use that. And then, obviously, for the P6 skill, I did fake pass layup, you know. I'll level this up one more time, but, you know, it helps Little Fox out. It gives him a more offensive approach and stuff, so he can be a more, like, offensive character. You get the layups in the paint, you get the shooting on the outside. You know, get in a lot of people's head. And he also has kill pass. We can easily just dish the ball out. And he also has touch pass as well. So he's a really good passer. That's why I didn't do layup pass because he already got it. And manual layup doesn't really matter. I'd rather have the fake pass layup. It's basically the same thing as manual layup if you do it at the right angle. But there's that. Now we're going to go into the stats. So we'll first start off with the dunk build. Which right here I have... Deny intercept success rate, and then 4% for 3 point shot. Then I have slide and catch, basically success rate by 4.5, then an 8.4 3 point shot. Then right here, long distance dunk chance, 7.5, then a 5.5. Then I have long distance dunk defense resist, which is a 1.08, then a full 1 right there. Get the attribute right there for the stats, 13, then two normal movement speeds. Then we'll go into this build, which is the main one I use. Same thing with the slide and catch and three-point shot success rate. Then right here, we got normal moving speed, 8.4. The short distance dunk doesn't matter. Then for these two french fries, we have three-point shot defense resist, a .6 and a .4. Then right here, we get the steal, like I said, for the pet, so it helps out a lot. Then for the shakes, we got two normal moving speeds. For the hamburger, we get a 6.8 three-point shot success rate, then another 8.4. Then we'll go to this build. So right in this build, everything else is the same except right here. Instead of that other pizza card, card which is right here, the normal moving speed, I have just an extra 4% for three-point shot success rate, just in case you know. I just want to guarantee the threes. That's the build right there. So now we'll head over to the stats. So when I basically level them up, I get the intense stats. So I put 10 into three-point shot, put another 10 into speed, and then I put the extra change, which was four, into steal, because like I said, get the steal off the pet, and that's it. Just get that normal moving speed. So right now we're going to the additional attributes. So three-point shot success rate is 35.6. That's not including the extra 4%. For my other build, then right here we got 3 point shot defense resist, 0 0.96, normal movement speed, 87.6. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter, so we'll scroll down to right here. You can see them all. If you need to pause it, you can pause it, but all of them are there. So now we'll go to the outfit. So we're going to scroll down, try to find it. Here it is. So for the outfit is the chocolate monster outfit. We'll go all the way over here to the accessory because I know I have one right here. The accessory is the chocolate donut tube. Then we'll go over here to the hair. 
which is also considered the hat. Scroll down all the way, here it is. Then we get the chocolate monster here. And then last thing in accessories, we get the sun, which is the I'm your son. And that's going to be the end of this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And don't worry if your character wasn't selected. I have a list of all characters' builds that you guys want. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. You already know what it is. We will. See you on the next one. Peace out, everyone, and have a good day or night.